The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From parts unknown, Archangel! Oh, hold on a second, and listen to this reaction. This is unbelievable. This guy's a stud. I don't see many losses in his future. God got nervous? Well, not me, but everybody else. Hello everyone, my name is Dylan. Welcome to the league match between Jay Sparks and Robert Blake. So, it's been a tough week for Jay Sparks this week. After defeating Randy Bourne at the last pay-per-view to become number one contender for the uh, World Heavyweight Championship for next pay-per-view, which is Feast of Fired, um, he's been targeted by Robert Blake. Targeted in a big way because Robert is uh, a member of the Saviors and ever since Jay tagged with him and didn't help him out when he was in trouble during a pin attempt Robert has been pretty angry at Jay now Jay hasn't acknowledged Robert at all he hasn't done anything to Robert apart from leaving him during one pin attempt when they still ended up winning the match anyway Robert has been mad and he has finally managed to get his hands on Jay here this week but not only has he got his hands on Jay this week in a match Earlier on in the week, he sent his saviors after Jay, three of them, which Jay managed to di dispatch. But not only did Jay get assaulted by three members of the saviors, Robert Blake and his saviors also decided to destroy Jay Sparks' bike, which is why Jay isn't coming out here on a bike. Um, because the saviors, they're just not very nice people. Just not very nice people, along with Robert Blake, the kind of leader, I guess, of the Saviors. They're just not nice. And Jay didn't even want anything to do with Robert Blake at all, but here he is being forced into a match with him because he just won't leave him alone. And, uh, 
You know, Jay has better things to worry about anyway. He has his World Heavyweight Championship match against Bryce to look out for. Whereas Robert has nothing to do with that match at all. So why should Jay be bothered about Robert Blake at all as he still goes to work on him right now? Jay has been able to do nothing so far in this match. Um, Robert has been all over him. Is Jay distracted? Is that what it is? Because he can't do a thing right now. But there he is. Managed to get a bulldog in. Can he start a fight back? Um, there's the stomps to the back. What can Jay do to follow it up though? There's a float over neck breaker. Okay, he can do that. That'll work. Stomp missed and he gets drop kicked in the face as soon as Robert gets up to his feet. Jay not having... Oh, he gets drop kicked in the face again. Yeah, Jay has had enough. He's had enough. He can't be bothered with this at all. He's been drop kicked one too many times. He's been assaulted by the saviors one too many times. His bike got destroyed one too many times because one time is enough times for a bike to be destroyed. And Jay wants to end this match with a steel chair right now. And what was that, Jay? Come on now. He gets kneed in the face by Robert Blake. Jay is just not having a good week at all. Not even close. Robert all over him this match. Jay hasn't even been able to start in this match. Maybe he's distracted. Is that it? Is he just too distracted? I don't know. But Robert now. Punching away. Jay with the reversal. There's a slap to the face. Can he follow it up? There's a headbutt. That'll do it. The headbutt will do it. He's starting to get back into this match. The ref got rid of the steel chair. Jay trying to get a disqualification out of Robert Blake. Well, he, wa he wanted to hit Robert Blake with the steel chair, I should say. But the ref got rid of the chain. Was that a smart move? Well, the match continues, so maybe it was a smart move. But there's a neck breaker by Jay Sparks. Stomping down into the midsection. Now what's he going to do? What's he doing here? He's positioned him up. Raking the eyes. Yes, he is. He's raking them eyes of Robert Blake. He's one of making him suffer. He misses there, though. And Robert does a full circle around Jay and still manages to get him. Don't know how that happened, but it did. And Robert thinks he's on top. He is on top because Jay hasn't been able to do much at all. And there's another drop kick by Robert Blake. And now he's going up to the top rope. Jay is that enough? Jay's had enough. He's leaving. Then bring it on then. Out here. And he does. Robert does. Robert jumps straight after him, taking him out. Is Jay focusing? Is, does he know what he's doing right now? Well, he's getting Robert back inside. Well, I thought he was getting him back inside the ring. No, he's not. Misses with the stomp there, gets drop kicked in the face again. Um, signature move of Robert Blake. But Jay getting back to his feet. The ref at a count of five. These are great competitors. Jay on the apron now. Is he even going to get back in the ring? Yes, he is. Got back inside the ring. He might have been thinking there. Does he even want to continue? Does he really want to continue? But he does. He takes Robert down with a clothesline there. Finally, he's back in control of this match for probably the first time this match. But can he actually do anything with that? We shall see. As Jay goes after the leg. I'm going to take him out at the legs. If he keeps hitting those legs, he won't be able to hit those drop kicks anymore. He's been hit by four or five now, I think. Missing. Oh, there's another one. He didn't go down, though. The leg attack worked by Jay Sparks. But he did get hit with a drop kick. That is the main thing to remember there. As Jay is getting dragged to his feet again by Robert Blake. There's a kick. And up he goes. No, Jay with the reversal. Neck breaker taking down Robert Blake. Jay getting Robert back to his feet. Is he going to hit him with a drop kick? No. Maybe. Maybe. No, there's the reversal. And back at him. In the knee to the midsection. And it looks like Robert's going to end it right now. Right now. Jay's unable to do anything. Robert, what is that? My god, the big man has some height on him. He has some height on him, but he still manages to do them flippy tricks. There's a two count, and Jay kicking out at two. Staying alive in this match. But for how long? He hasn't been able to do much. Can he actually do anything at this point in the match? Maybe, as Robert with the stomps into the midsection. So I'm head first now into the mat. Back to his feet. There's Jay with the reversal. Robert getting back to his feet. Jay, there's the injection out of nowhere. Jay going in for the pin. One, two, 
And it's a kick out at two. Robert Blake manages to stay in this match. Jay can't believe it. He's hit him with the injection out of nowhere. But, of course, that's one of very few moves that Jay's managed to do in this match. So, is it a surprise that Robert managed to kick out? Probably not. There's a reversal by Sparks. Run out of miss. What the hell? He missed with the clothesline. It's with the second one. Jay going after that leg again. Working on the legs. Is that, is that time, is that going to be enough to keep Robert Blake down? Slamming him head first in the mat, as Robert did to him. Jay going for a neck breaker, connects. He's feeling worn out though, you can tell he's feeling worn out. You can see it as he drags Robert back into the middle of the ring. There's another float over neck breaker by Jay Sparks. Can he follow it up? There's a stomp into the knee again. Working on those legs is Jay Sparks. And again into the leg, hitting those legs. Is there a reason behind this attack on the legs? Who knows, that's a punch though. Jay gets reversed, Robert Blake with a clothesline taking him down. Misses with a stomp and Robert Blake straight away with the flying uppercut. Blake now getting Jay Sparks up to his feet again. What's he going for here? He's got him up and down he goes face first onto the mat. And Robert again signaling for maybe the end of this match, who knows. And he hits Jay with a dirty needle. It's been a bad week for Jay Sparks. First being assaulted by three members of the Saviors, his bike broke. And now he gets defeated by his own move. Not a good week for Jay Sparks. want to do this outside the ring well i don't blame him keep the action inside the ring that's where you're gonna there it is the knee smash man that really smashed him every time he has to get up it takes more and more effort there's not a lot of cushion for your face as you can see everything hurts no kidding that's hurting me Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. Going for the double play with this move. Well, we're on the move here. You have to assume that tonight is one of the favorite nights of the year for the referees, right? I mean, there's practically no rules to enforce. The only thing they have to worry about is declaring a winner. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. Oh, man, I wouldn't mind a wireless mic right now. We don't want to be here much longer. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! My God, I can't believe this. Look at that. The table just imploded from that impact. I can't believe what we just witnessed. Yeah, in all my years in this business, and we were putting people through tables in Memphis in the 80s. I don't think I've ever seen a table just collapse.